afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Tea Time down on the railroad tracks. Look at this beautiful day. What a glorious, gorgeous day. Do you know, women, that we are the glory of our husbands? You know what that means? That means we are the beauty of our husbands. And men, you are the glory of Christ. That means you are the beauty of Christ. So guess what? We all get to be beautiful. We all get to be glorious. So, you know, I don't know. Would you rather be the head or would you rather be the glory? That's interesting. I never really thought about it like that, but God says men are the head or husbands are the head of wives. And ladies, we are the glory of our husbands. We reflect all things that are beautiful about our husbands. So he gets to make the tough decisions. He gets to be the one in charge. He gets to lead. Well, does he get to or does he have to? Because you know what? With leadership, yes, there are privileges. You get to decide where to go and what direction. But there's also a great deal of responsibility. And women, we understand that because most of us who are married, we're also mothers, many of us anyway. And we understand that we get to make decisions for our children, but with that comes the responsibility. And gosh, we so much want to make the right decisions. And I know our husbands, when they love us, they want to do the same for us. And when they love God, they're seeking God's wisdom and God's discernment. And we just really need to encourage them, ladies. I don't believe that in the earthly realm, in the physical realm, that men and women are equal. We're not. We're different. We're not equal in the, in the sense that we're the same, but we are equal in the sense that we both have great value. And we're both important because many people have said that the wife is the neck, the man is the head, but the wife is the neck, and she can turn the head any way she wants. And also, you know what? If you have a head with no neck, that head just falls over. There's no support. So we have a big responsibility, lady. We need to support our husbands because God has called them to be leaders. And we need to help them to be leaders in the church. And that doesn't mean that we aren't equal to men because in Christ there's neither male nor female. There's neither free or bond. See, Christ is the head of the church, not, not our husbands. Our husbands are the head of us, but Christ is the head of the church. That means that he makes the decisions. Not us, ladies, and not our husbands. Not even our pastor. We're all to be seeking God. We're all to be seeking the Lord Jesus Christ and his leadership and being led by his Holy Spirit. And Lord, I thank you that you give wives husbands to protect us, to protect them. Lord, I thank you for my husband. He's my protector. He's my provider. He provides emotional support. He provides instruction and comfort. And Lord, forgive me for trying to take that authority away from him because I didn't think he was worthy. And you know what? He's really not. And I'm not either, God. Who am I to think I'm worthy? Oh yeah, like I'm perfect. But God, he is worthy because you created him, you've anointed him, and you've appointed him. And I thank you for that anointing and that appointing. And I thank you, God, that when I don't think he's right, and I don't think he's going the right direction, it's not for me to criticize, because criticism brings contempt. And Lord, forgive me for criticizing my husband so much, either outwardly or inwardly. But Father, help me to pray for him, to encourage him, to support him. And Lord, to trust you, to trust you, Lord, that you will lead him. And Lord, I pray, I pray for all the husbands out there that they will love their wives. Because, Father, it is so much easier as wives for us to follow a husband who is loving towards us, who is kind and treats us with due benevolence, true kindness, Lord. Help the husbands to be kind, Father. For as wives, we truly need that. And, Lord, help them to be strong. Thank you, Father, that you make us the women that we are to help meets, to help our, help our husbands meet the potential that you've created them for, to help them, Lord Jesus, to fulfill the Great Commission, to fulfill what you gave Adam, 
and Eve together. Lord, they are to go and subdue the land, to take authority. Together we are to reproduce, to replenish, or as that really means, Lord, to, to fill the whole earth, Lord. And we can't do it alone, Father. And I thank you. Man needs woman and woman needs man. And Lord, I thank you that you need us to do that which you've called us to do. But you can't do it alone, Lord. God, God, you know we apart from you, we can do nothing. And I thank you, Lord, that we don't live apart from you. We live in you and through you, and you and us, and we are one. We are one in spirit with you, Lord, and in husbands and wives, we are one physically, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for good fruit from that oneness. Amen.